Okay, today I'll show you how to create a Zoom meeting and how to add tickets for your Zoom meeting using Billetto. So we will start here in uh, Zoom. If you don't have a Zoom account, just register for Zoom and follow the steps. And then uh, once you have registered, you will see this uh, dashboard over here if you go to meetings. And we're going to schedule a new meeting. So I'm going to start here. And I'm just going to call it online test meeting. I'm just going to add some uh, text. This is for an example, so I don't have to add actual event details. And uh, next I'm going to select the date. So just for this example, I'm going to select 30th of April and I'm going to put it at, uh, let's say 12 p.m. That's fine. And this meeting is going to be an hour long. So I'm just using the basic plan here on Zoom. This is not a recurring meeting, but if you want to set up a recurring meeting, the meeting that um, happens every few days or so, you can also do that. For this example, I'm just going to keep it simple and uh, create a single event. Um, so I'm just going to create a password uh, for people who have purchased the tickets or given a donation uh, for your event. So I'm just going to use hey there as a password. I'm going to start the video automatically for host, but not for the other people. I'm not going to use anything here, but except for this one here. So I'm going to mute participants on entry, but you can also use any other settings that you want. So, and save. So we have created a meeting on Zoom and now you can start inviting people over. What we're going to do here, and Zoom makes it actually very handy, we're going to copy the invitation. So if you open this bit and I'm actually going to keep it open because I'm going to copy it over to my event later. So now I'm going to go to Billetto. I'm using Billetto UK here. So this is an event in UK, but you can also create event on any other domain uh, that you like. We have another 12 uh, options for you. So I have an account so I can sign in, but you can also use a sign in to create a new account. Great, so I have created an account with Billetto basically in just uh, two simple steps. And now I'm going to create a new event. If you already have an account with Billetto, just go ahead. But for this example, I'm going to use uh, Billetto Advanced Plan. You can read more about our plans and features on the Billetto platform. Great, so here I can select the event name. So this is uh, just the name that's gonna appear on the top of the page. So the Zoom meeting I've just created, I called it online test meeting. So I can also do that. It is helpful if you uh, mention that the meeting is online um, in the Billetto page as well. So people know what they're paying for. So I'm also just gonna call this online test meeting. Uh, here you can put your name or if you have a brand or a company, you can also use the company or the brand name. And the, here we're also going to choose the start. So the start was the 30th of April and it was 12. And we decided that was an hour long. So this is going to go up until one o'clock. And on the letter, you can also create a recurring event just like in Zoom and add the details for every Zoom meeting to the recurring date. Now, because this event is online, I don't need the address, but I still need to mention uh, to people who are going to buy the tickets where the event is going to take place. So here I'm actually going to select enter location manually and I'm going to say online. You can also say zoom uh, to make it more helpful. And I'll show you how it's going to look um, in the minute as well. So in the description, you can add all of these elements in here. So uh, you can make text bold, you can uh, uh, strike through, you can make text italic, you can add uh, lists and bullet points, you can also add images. So for example, if you have any prominent people that are going to be presenting in your Zoom meeting, you can add images and uh, write a description for them as well. If you have a trailer for your Zoom meeting, like if you have a class, for example, you can also add a video here. So everything that helps to illustrate your event and sell it better would actually work in a description here. 
So in this description, I'm going to mention that the event is on Zoom and that you get the details after you have registered. Great. So I can also choose the event type and event category. These here help for your event to get discovered on Billetto. So um, if people are searching for events just like yours, the category and event type actually help getting it discovered. So for this, I'm going to choose a class and a training. And let's say it's film, media, entertainment, because this is a video training. I can also add up to three tags. So this will also help for your event to get discovered. Great. So now we come to the part where you add the tickets for your Zoom meeting. So I have multiple choices uh, for adding um, tickets on Billetto. So you can add a paid ticket. This ticket allows you uh, to set the price and the quantity for the tickets available. You can also add the donation. Uh, for the donation, if we pick donation here, you don't set up the fee because this depends on how much people want to donate, but you can set up the quantity so you can set up how many people can add the donation. For example, if your meeting is limited. You can also add sign up form here. So sign up form allows you to collect email addresses and get the list of participants and also send them out information about your Zoom meeting automatically. You can also add free tickets. You can add vouchers, for example, if you're selling an uh, add-on, so you can add merchandise if you have t-shirts, books, any additional um, stuff that you want to sell at your event. And uh, the box office collection doesn't really apply for this type of an event. This only applies if you're a theater, for example, and you need to collect the physical ticket. So for this particular event, I'm going to add a paid ticket and I'm going to price it at 10 pounds and I'm going to add 10 tickets so 10 people can attend my event. Um, just to show you a little bit more of the flow, I'm going to add a free ticket and I'm going to add one free ticket. And here as well, what you can do, you can uh, go into the advanced options and you can describe, for example, what this ticket allows you to do. So for example, if somebody's buying paid ticket, what is this ticket for? So I can add, for example, if, you, if somebody who's paying uh, for your event, they can pay for the event uh, with this ticket. And somebody who's given a donation at your event, they're just given a donation. They're not getting access or ticket to your event. All right, so we have added a paid ticket. We have added a free ticket for an example. Um, so now I have 10 paid tickets available and one free ticket available. But say, for example, that I only have five spaces at this event. I can also enable a total capacity here and say five as the maximum. So now it depends on how many tickets altogether are purchased, but the maximum tickets that I'm allowing to purchase is five. In this particular example, it doesn't really matter, but if you have a lot of different tickets and limited capacity, it actually is very helpful. Say, for example, you can only have five people participate and you have uh, five members and five non-members. Um, so altogether it could be five, but uh, you have ten uh, ticket types of uh, each and every kind, basically. So then we're going to go to the image. So you need to illustrate your event to look good on Billetto. So when people are purchasing the ticket, um, or access, they know what to expect from your event. So here I called it online test meeting and right away our automatic image system actually um, gives me suggestions uh, for images from Unsplash. These images are um, license free, so you can, you're free to use these images for your event. You can either just pick one of those, but if you have your own image, you can also upload the image here. I don't have an image handy, so I'm just going to pick one of these images here and I'm going to crop it so it focuses on the camera here and I'm going to confirm the change. Great, so I have the image handy and this is pretty much it for creating a simple page for your event. Now I can actually add some extras, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So 
uh, for example, we're waiting with the copy bit over here for your Zoom meeting. So I'll show you how to add it in a minute, but you do it after you've set up the initial page. Now you have an option here to make a public page. So if you want people to discover your event on the internet, and if you want SEO to work in your advantage, you can make a public event. If you want to make an event uh, for only a select number of people, and if you don't want your event to be discovered online, then you just untick this and this becomes a private event. So only people who have a link to your event page will be able to access it. So I'm going to make it a private event because it's an example, so I don't want it to come up in the search. So I'm just going to hit publish here. Great. And we have published an event. So now I want to add the link to my Zoom meeting in the confirmation email and in the confirmation screen. So what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to go into customization and design, and I'm going to go into tickets and orders. And here you have this field over here. So custom text and order confirmation email, and you can also include it in the order confirmation page. What this means, I will show you in a minute, but at first we're going to add it. So I'm going to go back to my Zoom meeting and I have all of the information for my Zoom meeting here. So I'm going to uh, just copy, I, I can actually copy all of this, but really this part over here that I need. And then I'm going to go back to this field over here and just say, so here's the information about the Zoom meeting. And that's the information here. And I will also include it on the order confirmation page. So what this means, I'll show you in a second. So we'll hit, hit save here. All right, before I show you how this looks on your page, I'll also show you additional feature that's super helpful for any meeting. So this is called booking questions. So booking questions are questions that are asked um, at a checkout. So whenever your participant is buying a ticket or making a donation, you can add extra questions that they can answer so you know your participants a little bit better. So this could save you some time on uh, sending out additional um, Google Sheets or something like that where you collect uh, information. So I can add a new question here. So I'm just going to ask if they want to receive our newsletter. All right, I can add some more description in here, but this is a very straightforward question. You can make this a required field. So I really want to collect some newsletter uh, signups. So I'm going to make this a required field. And this is uh, a text field allows you to add a single line. A larger text area allows you to add more information. And this is going to be a drop down because this is a yes or no question. So I'm just going to say yes and no. So this is it. So um, you can choose to ask this question before payment or after payment. For this particular one, I'm just going to make uh, this before payment. But if you're adding a lot of questions, um, in general, it's not very recommended. But if you do want to find a lot of questions, then we would suggest to add it after payment. So uh, they don't spend too much time before they actually submit the payment to you. And you can also choose to ask this once per order or once per ticket. This is useful when somebody's buying tickets for their friends. So somebody, for example, is buying three tickets uh, right away and you need to find information for every person who purchased the ticket, then you would ask once per ticket. But if this is just to find out about one person and for online events in general, it actually makes sense to ask once per order. So, and you can also enable this once per ticket if you have different ticket types, for example, and you only want to enable this for free ticket type, for example. So I'll show you how this works. And we hit submit. So we save the question. Nice. So I have the question here. So let's have a look at the event and what it looks like. So I'm going to go to the event page. And this is what it looks like. Uh, you can also add more description here, as I mentioned. Uh, but this is essentially your uh, ticket page. You can add it to your Facebook event. You can send it out in the 
email that you send out to uh, the uh, participants. So whichever is your method of promotion, you can use this link over here to direct them to the purchase page. And now they get, uh, hit, get the tickets here. And I'm going to select free ticket for this example. This is where uh, extra information that we've added uh, first appears. And then I hit next. So I enter my name. And this is the extra question that we added. It just appears in the checkout in here. All the other questions that you have, they're also going to appear here. So I'm going to go to next. And this is the confirmation page. So here's your information about your event. Um, they can either join the meeting right away if uh, you have scheduled for right now, basically, if they buy the ticket um, just before your event starts, or you can also go to the email. And this is the order confirmation email that they receive. And the information about the Zoom meeting is also in the email. So whenever the time comes for the event, they can find the information here. They can also add the reminder for the event into Google Calendar. So a lot of people do that and then they will get the, uh, the reminder for your uh, event. You can also mention if you're doing, for example, um, promotion on Facebook on the day of the event that they can find the information for uh, your um, Zoom meeting in the email confirmation uh, that they have received. Now, uh, one thing that's uh, very uh, helpful for the Billetto if you are organizing uh, a Zoom meeting is that we can see who bought the tickets, we can see their email addresses, and we can see their name here. So you can download this list and reuse it for your MailChimp campaigns, for example. You can also um, download extra information. So for example, we've asked uh, who wants to receive the newsletter, you can also find this information in the letter. Or if you are asking more questions on the checkout, you can also find these events there. So if I'm going to go to guest lists and reports, I can actually download the full information guest list. And this is going to give me information about the additional questions that they have answered. You can just simply add an email list and this is going to send you the email list that you can upload to MailChimp. Um, and if you're using a guest list, you can use a guest list, but for the online event, it's not really that important. So yeah, this is um, what it's like to create uh, an event with uh, Billetto and Zoom. And you can easily add tickets to your Zoom meeting. I hope this was helpful. Cheers.